interested to know from you, Linda, um, because you mentioned like the challenges of of Zoom acting. And I'd just like to hear more about, um, you know, are there things you like about it and enjoyed about it? Because when I do theater locally and when everything closed down, um, I formed a virtual theater company. And um, we basically did it to, we picked a different uh, philanthropy for each show that we did. We did five of them. Um, And so like we got money for um, a local organization for um, that helps the elderly during the holidays. We did the Biden campaign. We, we did a lot of things. Um, I'd just like to hear more about, you know, from your perspective, were there things about it that you really liked, things that you really didn't like, things that surprised you about, you know, enjoying? Yeah, great question. Um, Yes, I enjoyed it very much. I've never missed a cruise so much in my life because you're it, you're your crew, you know. So um, vanity prevails. So I just, I had to do it in a place where the light was going to be good, unlike now overhead, but it had to be, you know, so there was that. It's like, how do I figure that out? Um, I didn't really even know that it would be possible to do. So David, you know, pioneered the way. And in fact, it was, we got to rehearse uh, a couple of times beforehand. So we'd so that was very helpful. We sort of had a rhythm and we had things sort of, so it was sort of a hybrid film slash theater. It wasn't really neither, but it kind of combined the, 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 the best of, of, of both. Um, you, you had and, to do your own, you had to do your own camera work also, Linda, which was yes, really interesting. We did. We did. Not yeah. just setting it up, but you actually, you did like a steady cam move with your, with your. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, you hang around enough crews and you, and you learn, I mean, by osmosis. Um, so, I mean, the, we've all worked a lot out of Hollywood, but there's nothing like a Hollywood crew. So, and that's where I worked for the first many years of my career. So I feel like all of us who were privileged to do that had just the best in the world, the best in the world, because they've been doing it for so long, you know. So yeah, that that was fun. I did do, um, so going back to your magical, I, again, I, you know, done that in many theaters and at the top of the pandemic, I did it uh, as a benefit for Actors Fund, but it had to be you could only do it in your living room. Oh, well, you could do it in just in a in your home, and you couldn't do it in a theater. Um, and you could have you could have a crew to the extent that you were if there was someone at home you were isolating with. But that's it. Mm-hmm. Equity. These were very very strict equity rules to keep everyone safe. Well, you know you you did it so. Um, so I was alone at that point, my dogs and me. And so I duct taped the iPhone to uh, my, a ladder in my living room and we did it. But I actually asked my boyfriend, Patrick, to, to if he would, you know, it, let me do a, a run through for him. And, and he busted me because he said, no, it's, it's terrible. <laughs> you're doing it as if you're on stage and you're not on stage now. You're, this is for the camera. So I had to bring it way down, everything down. And so that was very different. It was as if I was just sitting in a room talking to you, you know. And uh, so it, it moved the work to a, to a different place, I think. But um, yeah, I mean, thank heavens for Zoom. I, recently, I got to go to New York and see a whole bunch of plays. And I had never realized how much, A, I took going to live theater for granted, how much I rely on, particularly the live theater, to help digest the world you know, either historically or, you know, esoterically or whatever. I, I, you know, like many of us, privileged to go to a lot of live theater. And I, and now that that was gone for those that year, um, I ached for it. So to be back in 
Broadway and off-Broadway theaters and experiencing live theater was, you know, there's just nothing like it. And as thank heavens, we all figured out how to do ni nice things on Zoom, but mm -hmm. it will never take the place of live talk. It just can't. <laughs>